What's up, man? Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Want to talk about Teofimo Lopez. We know he got his upcoming pay-per-view event over there on Trilla going down on June 19th against um, George Cambosos Jr. It's his IBF mandatory. Pretty much all of his titles are going to be on the line and uh, it's going to be going down. Now, Teofimo Lopez is hoping for a very successful event. Because we know the situation here where Teofimo Lopez and George Cambosos are pretty much on loan to Trilla for one fight. And that was due to the fact that Trilla won the purse bid between these two fighters, winning the rights to this fight. Taking this fight away from Top Rank, as well as ESPN, the network, and bringing it on over there, over there uh, to Trilla. Now, Teofimo Lopez is letting it be known when he go back to ESPN... He wants to be paid very well, and he wants to be on pay-per-view. And he's going to want to use his numbers from Trilla, this Trilla event, as proof or as evidence to say, hey, Bob Arum, this is why we deserve our respect. This is why we deserve to be paid well. And Bob Arum said it, it, said it in the past. Well, we're just going to wait and see what the numbers look like. Now, Trilla paid a lot of money for Teofimo. I mean, we know the purse bid was what, like $4 million or something like that? It was up there. More than anyone uh, thought that anyone would invest into this particular fight. I mean, truth be told, this fight on his own merits, it's just an okay boxing match. It's a good title defense. It's a good mandatory defense, if you will. It's an okay fight. Is it pay-per-view worthy? Well, I don't think so. But Teofimo Lopez still wants a successful situation so he can be paid well, so he can be put into other big fights with guys like Devin Haney and Demand to be the A side and, and guys like Javante Tank Davis, you know what I'm saying? Or guys like Josh Taylor, whomever. But he wants to get his respect, but he's gonna need these numbers to shine. But the thing is, man, he got a lot of competition. He has a hell of a lot of competition on this event. Now remember, originally this event was supposed to go down this weekend on June 5th. It got moved due to the fact that Floyd Mayweather is going to be facing Logan Paul this weekend. And we all know they ain't trying to go head up with Money May. So they decided to move the event down to June 19th. Now on this particular date, you also got other fights going down. Over there on Showtime, we got Jamal Charlo versus Montiel. And that whole particular event. And in other fights on that on that card. And then on top of that, over on the zone, you got Jaime Mungia. Now a lot of diehards are going to be watching those fights. And the thing is, for this Teofimo Lopez Camboso situation to shine, well, they're gonna need diehards to participate in this as well. Will the diehards be a little too be a little too fatigued to go and want to pay for a pay-per-view event that maybe a lot of people don't feel as though is a pay-per-view worthy fight? Now let's remember this also. Trill has done this in the past. They've had two events, but they've also had names like Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. A bunch of good musical acts all attached. It was a different type feel. It was a different type event. It was a lot of household names attached to those events. You think of also with their Paul brothers or Jake Paul and Logan Paul situations. Those were all names that for or to a particular audience. As for Teofimo Lopez, where they paid so much money for him. Well, is his name big like this? And will it do just as well as those two events? Take in mind also this, the price of the pay-per-view has now been changed. Originally, this fight was supposed to be for $49.99, just like the previous two pay-per-views that went down on Trilla. The Mike Tyson event was $49.99, and then the other event was $49.99. Now, Teofimo Lopez's event is $59.99. Originally, it was $49.99. And they got people asking the question like, yo, is this event, is this a sign, I'm sorry, is this a sign of a, fa a failing event or maybe a sign of Trilla just trying to recoup some money or maybe a sign of Teofimo Lopez is actually selling very well and of course if you got a hot item or a hot, uh, a hot event the price is going to go up which one is it? the thing is I mean I don't know man I mean so for them to want to raise the price from $49 and $59.99 and if it's not selling so well well like I said they put a lot of money into the purse bill over $4 million overpaid for the fight if you will and with the money to come in that high maybe they want to recoup some of their money back you know what I'm saying 
But on the flip side, if it's if it is selling hot, they will raise the price. I just don't. I just if I had to make a judgment on this, and this is my opinion, I'd say maybe it ain't doing so well. And the reason being is Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, those were big names. The Paul situation, those were big names, and they kept the prices at forty nine ninety nine. Even those, you know, Mike Tyson and them so well over one point something million pay per view buys. They sold very well. I mean, they didn't rise the price, raise the price. The price stayed the same. So even if you got a hot ticket on your hands, Tr Triller hasn't been been reluctant in the past to raise their prices. What makes them want to do it now on this fight? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I think it ain't going to do so well. And I mean, truth be told, it probably ain't. I mean, George Cambosos and Teofimo Lopez, are they household names? No. Uh, Teofimo Lopez, is this fan base going to show up? I'm sure they will. And a lot of diehard fans. But the question you got to ask yourself is, is a lot of those fans going to be fatigued by the time that fight comes around? It's a lot of fights on that day. You know what I'm saying? That's Juneteenth. It's a lot of fights on that day. So, and, and for most, I ain't going to say free, but if you got a cable subscription, most people ain't got to pay pay-per-view for those particular fights. And if you got the DAZN app, you ain't got to pay for the Jaime Munjia thing. So, I'm just saying, for them to raise the price to $60, I'm going to pay for it because I'm down to see Teofimo Lopez fight. I want to see what he looks like. But there's a lot of fans going to be fatigued out. And will his event be successful? I don't know, man. They clearly got spooked by Floyd. All of these events, on they didn't move it to the 19th, where well, that's a crowded, crowded date. I don't know, man. When Teofimo Lopez go back to ESPN and Bob Arum, he's going to be like, yo, man, I want to be paid very well. Bob going to be like, ah, uh, the numbers didn't come in so well, kid. You know, Bob going to want to see them numbers ASAP. He's going to be on the phone with somebody over there with Triller. Like, I need to know what it do. Or Nielsen or whatever they scan the, the, the buys for, from it. He going to be on the head. You know what I'm saying? But I hope it works out for Teo, man. I really do because I want to see him go in and uh, get these other big fights like with Devin Haney and with Javante Tank Davis or whether it be Josh Taylor or whomever. I want to see him get those big fights. I want his promoter to try to be confident in them to know they got some sort of star or some sort of person that can attract. That was one of Teo's biggest things against Vasil Lomachenko. He says he can outsell. He's the future. He, he's hot. He's, he's always on social media. He's popping. And Trilla is investing a lot into the, into the promotion of Teofimo Lopez in this time around. You see a lot of stuff. You see Teofimo Lopez on uh, Instagram and his social media and stuff very heavy. You know what I'm saying? So he's trying to push as hard as he can. You know, it, it'd be nice if he had a little bit more help, but he's trying to push as far as, as hard as he can. Um, We know Oscar De La Hoya is going to also be supposedly coming back soon, too. So to a Trilla fight. So maybe they kind of help with some, you know, using Oscars to promote it. I don't know, man, but. For that to be a crowded date, man, it's not looking good, man. And when he go back, if those numbers ain't looking good, Bob is going to be real tough to put him on pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, Bob is going to be dragging his feet to put Teo on pay-per-view. I mean, look at what he's going through with Terrence Crawford. And, and, and Bob has already shown that I'm playing a cheat right now. That's just how it is. So I hope it works out for Teo. We wish him the best for him. We hope for a successful event. Tune in. Tune in if you can. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll see how it works out, man. But I'm wondering, is this event going to be successful for Teofimo Lopez? Is he the star that he says he is? We'll see. Thumbs up for the homie, man. Catch up with y'all on the live stream real soon. Share, share, share. Rock those bells. Salute to everybody in main man, main man's boxing form over there on Facebook, man. Just wonder. Just wonder. You know what I'm saying? Teofimo Lopez, will you have a successful event, man? This is your headlining event. You got it. You know what I'm saying? You move the date. This is your big moment. Will you be successful? George Cambosos is not the right dance partner. Will Australia show up for him? We'll see. To the next video. Peace out.